Hello, today I'm looking at the analysis part of a research investigation. When you're analysing an article, you want to start the paragraph that's about analysing your article with the key sentence. And this key sentence describes what the article is all about. So here is an example of an annotated sample response of a physics research investigation task. And here is the analysis you can see on the screen of one source. Now they have the key sentence at the start. This key sentence shows you the article is focusing on the renewability of energy, which depends on the energy source being available. You then want to do a couple of sentences describing what the article is about. So um, the key findings in the article and include a reference when you're talking about these, an in-text reference. So this also looks like um, the how of the experiment. So how did they do the experiment? How did they do that survey to get the data, the results that they did? You also want to look at, so the third part of the analysis is any limitations they might have had in their report, in their study, in their survey. What was limiting their study? So maybe they looked at only a certain population or they only surveyed you know, a thousand people. So they're saying um, the evidence gathered during research was limited by the absence of data on how much it costs for the company to harvest hydrogen fuel. So it's talking about the absence of the information that's required to really do this properly. At the end of your analysis, so that was one article you analyzed. When you finished that article, you'll look at another article when you've finished all your article paragraphs, you'll summarize all of those with another couple of sentences describing what you discovered. These final sentences in your analysis combine your sources to have an overall argument for your different sources on what you found. And they say a difficulties and limitations to the overarching conclusion. So one of their main ones is mechanisms required to heat hydrogen fuel to 100 million degrees Celsius require processes that threaten human safety and the environment. So they're making an overarching conclusion to this couple of articles that they've analyzed. I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.